Hi, my name is Jason Paltrowitz of OTC Markets Group. I'm pleased to be joined here at the Market Center by Ursula Wilhelm, Head of Investor Relations for Banorte, which trades on OTCQX under the symbols GBOOY and GBOOF. Welcome, Ursula, and thank you for joining us. Hi, Jason. Thank you for having us. Banorte began as a small regional bank in 1899 and is now Mexico's third largest bank. Can you please tell us a little bit about your history and operations? Absolutely. Yes, as you point out, uh, Van Norte was a, a very small bank uh, located in the Northeast region with a very strong presence in that area. Uh, when the Mexican government privatized the banking system, uh, Van Norte was privatized along with the others. And after that, it, there began a, a period of a lot of acquisitions. Uh, and those acquisitions have uh, taken us to become the third largest financial group in the country. We are not only a bank, uh, we have uh, other uh, financial services that are meaningful. We are in the pension fund management industry with the largest pension fund manager. We have a market share of 25% of assets uh, in that industry. We also have an insurance company, an asset management business, and the banking group. So Benorte is also the only Mexican bank that's not predominantly owned by a foreign financial institution. Can you tell us what the advantages of that are for Benorte? Yes. Um, uh, yes, uh, the, the group is own, trades the stock in the Mexican Stock Exchange, and 90% of the stock floats. Uh, it is held by major institutional investors in the North America, in Europe, and in Asia. It is probably uh, the most uh, diversified ownership that you will find in a Mexican company. And it is also one of the most uh, liquid stocks that trades in the Mexican Stock Exchange. Um, this is a unique characteristic of Vanorte that you will not uh, find in any other, certainly in any other bank and almost in any other company in Mexico. Interesting. Can you tell us a little bit about the state of the Mexican economy and opportunities for Vanorte both in Mexico and potentially um, internationally as well? Absolutely. Under the current environment, uh, Mexico is one of the few economies around the globe that is uh, actually uh, growing. This year, the economy will grow about 2.5% to 2.7%, and next year it should accelerate a little bit further. Uh, there we have a, a very strong uh, manufacturing sector, uh, very strong also in exports that have been growing over the past 18 months. Um, also, the Mexican government took on uh, various uh, reforms uh, in 2013 uh, that uh, are related to the energy sector, education, telecommunications, and financial industry. Most of these reforms are under implementation, and uh, significant changes and opportunities are arising uh, for investment in uh, long-term projects in key sectors of the economy. So all of this uh, has helped the economy. We have uh, very good levels of employment growing with positive trends. Unemployment is, is, is contained. Um, uh, the consumer confidence is strong. Uh, retail sales in the country have been growing very positively. So all of this gives us a lot of opportunities to growth uh, both in the commercial and the non-consumer non segments of the economy on the banking business. On the pension management business, the demographics of the country are uh, so positive in the sense that the Mexican population is uh, very young. So this gives uh, the pension fund managers at least uh, two decades of asset accumulation uh, and therefore, uh, you know, a uh, very strong potential for growth on the revenue side. Interesting. So, Banorte began trading on OTCQX in July of 2010. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the benefits of being on OTCQX and your strategy um, here in the United States for your ADR? Yes. Um, we have, uh, we started trading uh, in OTC because we wanted to reach uh, another, um, you know, profile of investor in the U.S. specifically. We want to diversify the investor base that we have. Uh, we want to increase the liquidity of the stock 
and the best way to do it was through an ADR and so that is why uh, we listed. We are uh, working to increase the, you know, the, the second tier investors and in the US to get them to know uh, Vanorte, to understand our business, to understand our potential. We believe it's a, it's, you know, a very strong name to be if they want to be in Mexico. It is a, a good way to, to play on the economy. And, um, and our intention is to increase the volume that is traded on our AVR in OTC QX. Thank you. So what else should we know about Bonorte? Well, uh, we are uh, growing uh, through a very strong strategy that is aiming at in, you know, transforming the way that we do our retail business, taking advantage of the technology that there is in banking. We are becoming uh, a lot more digital. The objective is that uh, we become a self-serve bank. That way uh, we are uh, expecting to benefit. One is to reduce costs and the other one is to increase the interaction with a customer. We have a, a very uh, aggressive uh, business plan for the next five years in which we have been working. We have been making over the past two years and a half important investments in technology and uh, we expect to you know, achieve uh, an ROE close to 20% uh, in four years time. Excellent. Ursula, thank you again for your time and joining us here at the Market Center. Thank you.